You thought I was done, but I was not. With the series. Never mind. Hey everybody, it's the Heroic Legend here, and we're going to go to skirmishes for this episode. We're going to fight in an easy skirmish to make up for the fact that... Well, two skirmishes to make up for the fact that I fucking Here's failed. Me. So, this skirmish... You don't really need to know about the skirmishes. Just like, dude, we need to take back this spot that you've been in once. It's very simple, and they're fun. Like, well, can die. It, honestly, I think if Vulcan dies in this one, then it w I, I, I'm not supposed to lead this. Okay, so we're gonna take Vice, who's gonna be in. He's gonna be in the middle, along with Wendy. Uh, we're gonna have. I think we're gonna have Nils right here. I want to try a few things. Maybe Yoko? I, I like Yoko. Cause she has a lot of... Yeah, she has good stuff. We're going to have Claudia right here. And we're going to have Oscar and Scissory. Uh, and we'll take Nancy. What do you do? Melee skills. Yeah, that'll be enough. Deploy. Now let's. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia. Squad Seven, move out. That's when Wilkin realizes that for this skirmish, there weren't actually any Imperials. It was just robots. But that's why it's called the skirmish. Okay, so we're gonna not move welcome much. I'll do my best. I want to practice with my other units. So, actually, this should be good enough. All right, let's see if you can make the key. Oh, oh, yeah. You must have some armor on this head. Uh, da -da -da -da. Ooh, you seem like a target. And he missed. Way to start off the episode, Oscar. And you did so well in the mission that no one got to see, because I'm just... I'm terrible. That's right, Cesare, you got this, right? Easy mark. At least he hit. Okay, now time for the funny thing. Roger. You got this, right, Nils? Eh, you might hit. Or you could blow up our cover. This is just a fucking comedy of errors now, isn't it? Fucking vice. Just, just do as you need to, bro. He's gonna go up. Like, ah, we're gonna shoot at you. But vice is just like, ah, shit. Okay, he's getting shot a lot. I, I have to move him. Here's a fun fact. Pressing B during that allows you to hurt. If you mash the B button after. <laughs> after that. Uh oh. No! Controller didn't disconnect it somehow. Oh, he scored a headshot. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, we have to end our phase. Alright, so, as you can see, no one's moved up, and I've made a lot of mistakes. These are also kind of how the missions go. And, as usual, they like to... Why is this not taking a lot of damage? Right, his abilities. Not to mention the fact that I probably upgraded his armors. And my, my, my head's doing the thing again. And everyone's just taking shots at him. Yo, why are you gonna go after my frickin' sniper, bro? Oh boy. Oh uh, no, what are you gonna do with that lancer? Underminer fire. Okay. We we can play this game. 
Seriously? <laughs> and he regrets that moment of his life the most. Please stop disconnecting. Okay. So we need Wendy. Because Wendy's gonna fucking... You missed a lot of those shots, Wendy. Oh, jeez, fucking... Uh, hang on, hang on. There we go. Okay. Now I can go to... Cesare. Go behind the proper cover. Where's that Lancer? All units report. Ah, I see him. Sound to prove how much you hate Lancer, Cesare. We're not. Yeah. <laughs> you just <laughs> I love how they look. It's just like bitch you trying something. Alright. I think Lance is the best choice for this. Rock and roll, dude! You missed a lot of those shots as well, Lance. I mean Vance. Vice. Whatever the fuck your name is. It's it's Vice. I keep calling him. I keep calling him Vance or Lance. Hi, guy. I didn't miss that time, now did I? Not gonna touch me. I think if I touch the bodies, by the way, I can. Uh... Hi, Scout. Goodbye, Skipper. Okay, I think if I touch the bodies, I have a chance to get their weapons, too. I think. That might be in the mission that comes, like, a little... Ooh, my goodness, this skirmish is actually taking much longer than I thought. <laughs> he takes a few steps out. Shot at. Oh, she's gonna get the... Yep, she got the kill. That's Wendy. I, I freaking... I, I have Wendy in my, uh... I guess I could kind of call it my personal run through. And she is just fantastic. You say so. Alright, come on, Tizzery. It's your time to shine. All you gotta do is snipe this guy. Actually, I think if you get a hit, I should be proud. But you got nothing. Why do I keep trying to use them? Eh. Oh, and this is exactly why I'm glad this is, this is not more Fire Emblem based. Because then Vice over here would just be getting all the experience. And he deserves it. Just, just look at him. He's just going up, shooting people, and taking shit. I need to finish this quickly so I can at least show you a little bit of story. But these are the skirmishes. I won't be doing these all the time. But I will be doing them possibly off screen unless, you know, people are like, Oh, we're done that. I'll, I'll ask a question somewhere and see, like, what's better. Just uh, going on, showing the skirmishes when I do... Showing the skirmishes or not showing the skirmishes, because uh, as you can see, they're about an episode's worth of length. A little bit of time to spare. Now, of course, you can always do you can do the skirmishes for anyone who's playing along as well, for whatever strange reason. You can do the skirmishes, the skirmishes indefinitely. You can get a little bit of experience, and well, you can get some decent experience in Moolah for it. Uh, I think the minimum you can get is a thousand because you defeat the two leaders, and there are more to come. So let's return back to Operation Cloudburst, and let's get this cutscene over with. I 
I love cutscenes. Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the west. Now we'll join the army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge and attacking the eastern camp. Captain, crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the op- The plan calls for the army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridge. Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier too. But sometimes being a soldier means taking on tough missions. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Breaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Damn, you're suicidal. Captain Varat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind, but... Welcome! Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. Now, I just want you to know she would be met with... I'm pretty sure she'd be met with yelling. Anyone who's, like, in the army... Can you tell me what would happen if a sergeant interrupted a meeting? We're finished. It's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Even when she's being nice, she sounds kind of mean. I don't think it's that way with a lot of military personnel, but I'm, I just wanted to point that out. Yes, Captain. Welcome. I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats. What? <laughs> Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. You want me to break it up? Well, that seems to be the plan, Welcome. I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just let them have it out. Let them have it out? You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. See, he's talking exactly like a teacher should. Butting I'm kidding. Differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but that may be, but I still look. You can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. She also has valid point. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I. That can't look good in front of your captain. Sounds like he's got his hands full. It's all part of growing as a team. You know, in the quirky anime world. I'm sorry, but if I were in Welkin's position, I think I'd pull rank pretty quickly. Fun fact, while these are going on, I'm playing with Legos. It's a standoff. Okay, what's going on here? You really have to ask, Lieutenant? It's either her or me, pal. Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her! Her type's got a bad reputation and everybody knows it. No Darksons allowed. You hear me? Racism! Yes, I've heard everything you have to say. But I'm still a human being the same as you. Besides, no evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it, that's enough! Okay, boss man. We won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that? Can't you understand? Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot greenhorn. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? 
Now, if my plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, Largo. But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. <laughs> Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But... Wait a sec. Welkin? I don't think you can do that in, t in terms of military. Ooh, sub-episode. Often telling a side story, tangential to the plain plot. The reason is not necessary to give them in order to turn up the game, but there's no penalty for skipping. Now, for a different perspective on the events and form, you won't find elsewhere. Okay, so we'll go view that in the next episode. Because I, I think it would take a little bit too long to just, you know, Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the skirmish and the little bit that we see here. It's very interesting how... Uh, I know I joke around with it, but it is a very serious issue in this game. And I think they're tackling it fairly decently. The, the topic of, like, how your race matters. And even in such a, like, terrible time, such as wartime. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure for a fact that in uh, the United States during wartime, there were moments where there like someone's race came into play and squads or units may have had trouble because of one person's bias over someone's race or thinking that someone should be in this group period because of the color of their skin or what they believe and it's very interesting to see that in this game too because I again I do believe they're tackling it fairly fairly decently. I know it feels like, you know, oh, they're, they're, over, they're being over emotional about it. I'm pretty sure, like, in wartime, especially with one like this, where it, it, they're outnumbered incredibly and have little to no hope of, well, and have little to no hope, period, that they need to draft in, uh, as the general said in the previous episode, uh, country mice, that they'd look past their differences, but it's as sad as it is, it's not going to be the case their beliefs are very firmly placed and it's because of what they were taught probably when they were young I would imagine because both of them look experienced uh, at least Lu uh, Largo does I'm not too sure about Rosie Rosie might just be a hothead but again if we ever wanted to we can take a trip to the personnel thing and find out more about their stories there uh, anyway thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed the episode we'll be back Soon, I don't know. I'm not, I don't tell you guys about this. Ah, my ear. The ah, the headset. The headset's not helping. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, probably already said that before. And I'll see you guys in the next episode later. Rise above, whoa, whoa, whoa.